everyone, here is the storyline of the episode that aired last night. In this episode, Su Jong returns to the room after she sees Sui Ju crying in pain. She remembers what the doctor said to her, where the doctor said that Su Jong also has to be strong and not only Sui Ju has to be strong in facing this disease. The next day, Sui Ju returns to work as usual. He really does what he said where he doesn't want to be treated as a patient and he will be a strong person who will do anything while he can't. Then at the company, Sujong meets with Wu Jin where Wu Jin tells Sujong that Secretary Zhang has started to move. So now what they have to do is to quickly lower Kim Ha's position as chairwoman and make Wu Jin the chairman. Wu Jin now has Kim Ha's shares but that is not enough to make him the chairman. And the thing that can make him the chairman is he has to prove to the entire board of directors that Kyung Ha used $90 million of Kyung Ha's last funds to buy shares. Su Jung herself actually thinks that the most important thing before making Woo Jun the chairman is to find Kelly Jung because she is worried that Kyung Ha will use Kelly Jung to blackmail them after Woo Jin becomes the chairman. Another story comes from Secretary Chang, who opened Kyung Ha's secret account where he is quite shocked because all the last fund in the account have been transferred to Wu Jin. Secretary Chang is sure that Kyung Ha is not the one who transferred the last fund to Wu Jin of her own free will. So he feels something is wrong. He comes to the Ju family's house to install CCTV there so he can monitor what is happening in the house and he also tells Kyung Ha that Kyung Ha's secret account is empty because everything has been transferred to Wu Jin. Secretary Jung also forbids Kyung Ha from drinking tea made by Wu Jin and he also saves his cell phone number on Kyung Ha's cell phone. Kyung Ha, who initially thought that Secretary Jung was just a hallucination, begins to think that she is not hallucinating. So, she meets Wu Jin at the company to make sure why Wu Jin took all the money in her secret account. Woo Jin once again tells Kyung Ha that Kyung Ha is the one who ordered him to take all the funds. Kyung Ha shows an attitude of disbelief towards Woo Jin, so Woo Jin transfers the last fund back to Kyung Ha. Then Kyung Ha feels guilty for being suspicious of Woo Jin, so she tells Woo Jin that actually Secretary Jung has met her and she even said that Secretary Jung's cell phone was saved on her cell phone, but Secretary Jung's cell phone number is no longer saved on Kyung Ha's cell phone because Woo Jin, who has cloned Kyung Ha's cell phone, has deleted Secretary Jung's number. In this episode, Kyung Ha tries to believe that she is not hallucinating that she has met Secretary Jung, so she follows Secretary Jung's words not to drink tea by, made by Woo Jin. When Woo Jin enters Kyung Ha's room and locks the room to look for evidence for stock purchase transaction using plus fund worth $90 million by Kyung Ha, that's when Secretary Jung contacts Kyung Ha and tells Kyung Ha to enter her room because Wu Jin has already entered Kyung Ha's room secretly. Secretary Jung can know what uh, Wu Jin is doing because he monitors Wu Jin's movements through the CCTV that he has installed in the Joe family's house. At the end of this episode, Wu Jin is no longer pretending in front of Kyung Ha. He takes out all his anger on Kyung Ha, who killed Su Jung's father, killed Ji Woo, and made him have a mentality of a child like now. Okay everyone, that's the storyline this time. Thank you for watching my video.